everybody before we get into this very important update i want to go over a quick synopsis of what's going on right now in the market first off the futures market is back open and the dow and nasdaq and dow nasdaq and s p all opened up slightly um but the u.s dollar has just fallen below 103 again it's at 102 spot 99 so it's below the 103 handle and that's very critical because if we lose these areas we've got to come down a little bit here and i'll show you today and the update where the DXY stands, I'll also show you that XRP broke back above 45 cents. And then also we have Bitcoin just barely over 28K as the futures comes back online. So we'll take a look to see exactly what all that means and more. So the main thing to remember here is we need to pay attention to the DXY because it not it doesn't have the direct link to whether or not crypto is going to go up or down. But if the US dollar is diving there's more of a likelihood that crypto value is going up because we're losing value in the U.S. dollar. So even the crypto might not be gaining any steam, but because the U.S. dollar is tanking, it's going to cost more for us to buy it. So there is that direct correlation, obviously. But the most important thing is here is to see what Bitcoin's doing at 28000 and then to also see what's going on with XRP as it's over $0.35. Cents. Or, uh, 45 cents. Make sure to hit that like button as it greatly pushes me through the analytics, and I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good evening, 6.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Sunday, March 26th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. As we can see, Bitcoin is just over 28,000, up 530 points on the day, 544, up 1.98%. Let's just take a quick look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin maintains in the exact same formation as we've been for several days. We're over the 20-day right now, and the three hour time frame but if we look at it in the 30 minute time frame i'm more worried about the pattern formation right now we're still over this critical area right here and right now if you look at the uptrending support it's right around 27,065. so we'll say 27,060. so that's the support and the resistance we're still within is this 28,005. let's go to the top side of it 550 so we need to break 28,550 on bitcoin and hold it. And then we would have a nice shot to come up here at 31,000. It's like 31,100, but depending on where you want to call it. But that's where we're at. And if we were to lose this 27,050 roughly, we would come back down to 25,194. That would be our next big drop. So you're looking at a pretty substantial move either way. But if we can get on top of that 28,550, you're talking about a better than 2,500 point move. To get on top of 31,100 or 31,084 just depending on where you were to hit it if it comes down here it can be higher but you get the picture this could be acting as we came up we had a nice push up this could be acting as a big left shoulder and then we could actually because a lot of people are expecting this to round and come down but i'm paying attention to the fact that we came up here and this could be consolidating to a left shoulder and then you might get something like this even if the pattern dies and it would be something like that and it would be more, this is a one giant left shoulder building up. And then it would come into a top. We don't know how high, but I'm just saying, speculating that it could do something like this even and maybe shake out. But I'm saying this could very well be a left shoulder and everybody thinks it's a head getting ready to pull down and then, you know, do something. But if you ask me, if we were to lose this, obviously that would lead more credence because it would bring you back down to this 25,194. But as long as we're holding this area... I would look for this 28,550 to give way, and then that's how you can get up to 31,086 or 31,100. But it's to be determined because you're still in, within that little channel that's been formed. XRP is at 4509, up 1.60% on the day. Just over, uh, what, it, seven tenths of a cent, basically. Um, but we're up 1.60% at 4509. If we look what XRP is doing, we are over a very critical support level right now at 449. It's, it is the most critical support line because if we lose this, you can see how we've had a bearish cross. Could just be a fake out to trick the technical traders because technically we are on the top side of that 
I've been saying 449, but I acknowledge it's down to 446 right now because of that downtrending resistance trying to act as support. So as long as we're on top of 446 now, we are still on the bullish side of things. And then if you hold the 446, that's not the end be all. You have to get back over here at 4... Oh, whoops, let me get the right chart. We have to get back over the 455. And we can see what could be a W reversal formed here. Right as the bearish cross, which could be a technical indicator for traders to sell. And since we're over the 446, we very well could be coming now. It's the 454 as we move farther across. We'll say the 455 still because that's where I'm comfortable. So we'll see if the 455 holds because that's your critical resistance. And that's your only thing holding you right now. As long as you're over the 446. The only thing holding you from that 494 double top is the 455. That's it. And that's this formation right here in the all-time chart. And you can see we had in here as well that kind of telegraphed it to us. As long as we held this formation, let me go into the other chart. But you see this down, that's kind of like a descending triangle breakout. So am I willing to say this pattern's done just yet? It all depends if we break back below the 446 and can't hold it and ultimately lose the 432. That is the ultimate, the ultimate. Some people don't like that I share so many numbers, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know the truth, you have to hear all things that are happening with the pattern formation. This is what I talked about if we could hold and we made this move. And I said I could move it back here, but I didn't want to move it because this is just if we held this uptrending support at some point we would break out. And I had 496 up there, but I moved it to 494 because that's where the top was on that move. But I had it up, as you can see, just slightly higher. And it was targeted for about the 49 eight roughly but it was a 37 percent move and we achieved that move by holding that uptrending support line and it happened earlier and that's what i said that move was predestined and i've had it on there for a long time it's just where i had it playing out would have been the apex point if it came down to the double side and that was right around july sometime but it ended up making the move and that's what i anticipated so now can we get on top of it and finish this off and try to hit that 52.2 and then ultimately possibly the 58 cents. The only thing we can do is sit back and wait now and see what the market makers have in store for us. Right now we're on the top side of 446, so that's bullish. But to ultimately get super bullish here to try to push back to 494, XRP must be on top of 455. Nothing more, nothing less. That is a beautiful breakdown of the technical analysis. And then I want to look at the DXY before I get out of here. The DXY sits at 103 spot 005. It briefly came down below 103 and broke the 103 handle, but right now it's holding on by the skin of its teeth to the 103 handle, down 0.11% on the day. And right now, this could be pulling up into a bull flag, but in the four hour time frame, it doesn't look ready to just break out and up. But we could be trying to push, if we hold 103, we could come up to 103 spot 674. But if we do lose this little bit of momentum we had, and this does decide to roll back down. And we first, we'd have to lose the 200-day. That's why this handle at 103 is so important. If you lose that, you'd come back down to the 102 spot 60 to try to see if you regain footing here. Would I be surprised if it came down there? No, but it does look like it's put in some kind of little flag here that could bring it up to 103 spot 674. But we're going to see because we came up on a cup and handle, and we're really going to want to hold this level. We're not going to want to lose the 200-day. Otherwise, our next nearest support is 102 spot 605. Otherwise, we've got resistance over the top at 103 spot 674. And if you break that, you might be able to come back up to the 105 spot 30. But the U.S. dollar is looking very, very trend. You know, it's looking very uh, timid right now. It's not looking very strong. So just pay attention to that when it comes to the U.S. dollar. Make sure you pay attention to everything I've said in this update. If you got anything out of this update, make sure you hit that like button. Consider joining Tom's Army. That's in the video description below as that does help greatly for my time put in if you want to trade xrp or any crypto you can trade it even in the usa with no spot fees on the buy and sell there's two great options and you can trade up to 250x leverage that's mexi and or bicket that's in the video description below and or pinned comments and then if you want to as i aforementioned join tom's army or donate xrp to show uh thanks for my time that would be in the video description below and or pinned comments one last thing, if we look at the total crypto market cap, it's at 113.79 trillion. We are coming up to critical levels here as well. And you can see some kind of reversal could have possibly been put in. And this could be forming one big left shoulder. We will know more if we break the 113.9 and hold it. 
then we would have a clear move up to 118.8. Now, if we get rejected at 113.9 trillion, then underneath is 1.095 trillion. Make sure to hit that like button if you got anything out of this and consider subscribing to the channel and join the more than 15,700 subscribers. Besides that, hashtag be better, do better, hashtag fight assassins, and remember, help one person each and every day because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, what the hell is the point?